Alrighty, folks, let's talk about rain. All classes are rain or shine. Okay, we're done talking about rain. Uh, no, seriously. So um, your time is valuable. My time is valuable. Um, it takes a lot of work. The, the, the biggest headache in this business is getting people in the same place at the same time, on the same schedule, at the right facility, um, booking, you know, making sure that we have space in the facility, making sure that we have instructors available. Um, that is the challenge is the scheduling the, the number one headache for me is scheduling so once we have scheduled something uh i'm not inclined to reschedule that or cancel that or change that due to rain so if you don't want to get wet that's your problem i'm willing to get wet for you right so in other words Back to kind of a theme that you'll, you'll hear from me. I want to see students meeting me at the same level of commitment. It's like any other relationship in life, be it business or personal or with your kids or with your boss, whatever. I want to see an equal value exchange here. I'm about ready to commit to you, my day, my equipment, my facility, my knowledge. I'm looking for you to commit that same amount of investment to me. So if I'm going to teach you and this day is going to be wet, I'm going to be wet. So I need you to commit to being there and getting wet. If it's gonna be rainy, you will probably be wet, and that's life. Humans have survived for millions and millions of years, and guess what? When it rained, you got wet. Your skin has a nice coating of oil on it, unless you scrub it off with soap. That oily coating keeps you waterproof. So, then you might be cold. Guess what? If you move, you generate heat, then you're not cold. I sound pretty crass, don't I? Look, it's not that big a deal. Dress warm, layer up. If you have it, Gore-Tex is fantastic. Otherwise, bring a poncho. Otherwise, bring an umbrella. Umbrellas are not very useful, just so you know. Your legs are getting all soaked. But um, yeah, bring a poncho, bring a raincoat. Um, now, if you don't have those things, maybe go acquire those things. Maybe those things, a raincoat is more important than getting a gun. Uh, maybe uh, getting a pair of waterproof boots is more important than getting uh, three extra magazines for your second or third or fourth or fifth or 10th or 30th gun. So consider your priorities. If you're not willing to get wet because your guns, uh, you don't want to get your guns wet, I think that's something that you need to reconsider. I had some students that wanted to do a private class and they tell me they have all these kinds of guns and this gun and that gun and that other gun. And I'm like, okay, cool, unpack your guns, bring your guns out. And they're like, well, we didn't bring any. We're gonna use yours today. Um, I'm like, why? Like, oh, well, it was gonna rain, so I didn't wanna get my guns wet. Guys, see this face? This is me being polite, because deep inside, I'm laughing at you. I have zero respect for people that aren't willing to get wet. Guys, it's just water, it's okay, it's just water. You take a freaking shower every day, I hope. That's water. It's exactly like this water. It's the same, except that the water that comes out of the sky is probably actually cleaner because it doesn't have, you know, chlorine and fluoride and stuff. But that's beyond my, my expertise, okay? So God, just as a, as a matter of attitude, as a matter of culture, in this program, in this school, in these classes, if it's raining, dress warm, layer up, move around, wear some waterproof shoes and, and bring a raincoat and prepare to get wet. If it's muddy, prepare to get muddy. And if you don't like that, that's not a me problem, that's a you problem. You wanna work on that. I think you should work on that. That should be a priority for you. So <clears throat> now having said that, uh, we do have a very open reschedule policy for um, open enrollment classes. So as you know, uh, we have um, basically three types of classes, private classes, semi-private or study groups, also known as study groups, semi-private classes. And then we have open enrollment classes, which are the normal classes you see on the website on the, the schedule. Um, for open enrollment classes, that's really easy. If you don't wanna go, tell me an email with an hour before class, up to an hour before class starts. Um, and then that's fine, your credit's good for a year. Just email me when you're ready to use your credit and join another class. Um, on the other hand, if we are talking about uh, private classes, I'm starting to reach a conflict. And it's because I don't have a very well-defined rescheduling policy. So maybe you guys can give me some feedback and help me with this. Um, thus, up until now, 
I really left it on a personal, um, only left it on a personal like conversation basis. Like if you don't want to do the class because it's rain, you know, for whatever reason, you'd kind of call me and talk to me about it and, and explain. And I would just be trying to be reasonable and just work with you and pick another day. Um, or I would explain to you like, you know, this is, this is kind of a, kind of a, you know, kind of a, a burden for me to carry that you're asking me to carry because I, I, I cleared out my schedule to commit to working with you. And you're asking me to commit another day to you. That's two days that I commit to you, but you pay me for one day only. And usually the students are, are very responsive to that and they'll you know be willing to you know uh, pay for half or whatever something like that <clears throat> but we don't have a standardized policy so maybe you guys can help me what do you think is a reasonable policy for rescheduling if it's a private class if i commit to you for a day and you commit to me for a day but then you want to break that commitment and you want it to, me to add another day you want me to commit two days now and you pay me for one should we do a no cancellation policy or no refunds, no reschedule policy that you just, if you cancel, you forfeit? Or should we do it like um, that there's a fee of some sort of percentage maybe? Um, the obvious answer that jumps out to me is doing a 50% um, reschedule fee for private classes. Because this keeps you fair, keeps the student fair and keeps me um, you know, compensated for my time. If I commit my day to you and I clear my schedule, that's an opportunity cost. I cannot sell it to anyone else. And so if you book this day and you hold it for two months and then the day before, two days before you say, you know, I don't want to do this day anymore. Well, then I'm no longer in the position where I could resell that day. And like, let's be clear about this. The only thing I have value, the only thing you have value is your time, your time on this earth. Very, you know, very quickly, I'll be old and gray and I'll die of old age or die of disease or I'll die crashing my car or whatever like that. Life is short. So if you're going to book my time for a day, I'm hoping that you would respect, respect that. But I also understand that people have lives and stuff happens and, you know, you, you, you got stuff that comes up. And so is there a way that we could fairly build a system that students can compensate me for that time that they would have used or should have used, but they need to reschedule? And then I'll, you know, be able to still reasonably, you know, at a reasonable price, get them a second day when, it, when they're, you know, when they're able to do it. The concern here is in having an open policy that folks abuse, and that's something that I'm seeing. Um, uh, so again, I don't have the right answer. I never do. It's just trying to trying to figure this out. <clears throat> you know, in, in large classes, open enrollment classes, the way we solve that problem of abuse is simply just to sell more tickets in the class. If I have a 24 person class, like we did, uh, 24 person max, for example, this past Sunday, we had 21 people actually sign for it. So I, I set out for myself a 24 person max. So we got a 21 person sign up. And then of those 21, uh, three people decided that they were gonna reschedule for a later date. And so we end up with an 18 person class. That's totally fine by my, by, you know, that's totally fine with me. And that was a very, very successful class. The students who were there, they loved it. It was raining, it was cold and miserable and the wind was blowing the whole day. But they loved it and we just kind of tried to just stay dry under the little you know canopies on the range and we just you know did made the best and we boiled a big pot of hot water and made tea and coffee for the students at lunchtime so it was it was really nice you know we were all cold we were all miserable and we just you know enjoyed it together um so anyways i'm looking to hear some feedback from you guys what do you think um if you have a comment Leave it in the video or, you know, email us, uh, text it to me, call me, give me, give me a comment on Instagram, any number of ways you can get in touch with me. So uh, thank you all for listening and I'll talk to you soon.